everyone welcome back again to another track guide again we're in the gr4 class of car and um, this was taken from a few days ago when it was um, a sprint race around browns hatch and it was qualifying in the nissan gtr gr4 i've chosen to do this track that guide today because the um, long distance race which is the 10 lap race is it on the same class of car at this track obviously it's not in the bmw i'm not driving this guide in the bmw m4 although that car will be slightly faster than this i think it's probably about half a second maybe more faster so um it's going to be a little bit faster but the basics are going to be uh, pretty much the same the braking zones the, the um, turning in zones etc are going to be very similar and how you want to take the track and obviously you can still drive this car if you want to a lot of grip in this car um but it does seem to suffer a little bit on m speed even though the grip is there so we'll go through a quick track guide give yourselves all the pointers that i can point out and um, first of all we'll let the, the lap play at full speed without any commentating over and then i'll go back and play it in slow motion and let you guys um pick up on some of the points that i point out so enjoy the lap and i'll be back very shortly with the track guide that you guys need so starting the lap obviously you're going to be looking out for your first breaking point very tricky corner i like to break a little bit early keep it in fourth gear you're going to see there going into fifth gear and then back down to fourth gear i break just after that board there on the left hand side you're going to see it come up there number two board breaking down into fourth gear and then try and get the car over to this curb on the right hand side you can see me slowly fin i would have rather have took a little bit more curb than i did there but keeping it in fourth gear as soon as you feel the grip building up hard on the power and use some of that green bit of um, track on the left hand side really do need to use that to gain maximum speed then going into the next braking zone breaking just short of the bridge above you there the shadow on the floor breaking down into second gear and get yourself nice and tight to this apex of this curb get yourself on the curb and you'll find that you slingshot yourself around the corner and you can get on the power so early getting on the power really early there you can see in the mirror how much earlier i've got on to pay compared to my previous laps there and the ghost in the mirror and then looking out for the board the curb on the right hand side we're going to break just short of that curb on the right hand side there going down into third gear get yourself over this curb on the left and get on the power as early as you can we hit the curb a bit too hard which caused us to run a bit wide there would have preferred to keep it more on the track than that going into fourth gear then again looking out for that number one the number one board on the right hand side breaking down into third gear and then trying to keep stay to the right hand side until you feel the grip building and then get yourself nice and tight into the apex and get on the power as early as you can we actually hit that curve again a little bit too hard and use all the track on the right hand side very close to the limits of what we could get out of the car there but i would have probably gained a little bit more if i didn't hit that curb on the apex of the corner then going down the straight looking to break down into fourth gear on that next break point we're going to look out for the in between these two boards on the left hand side there down into fourth gear and again we're going to get the car over to the right hand side feathering the throttle until we feel the grip set and then hard on the part and use as much of the track on the left hand side as you can 
again. Now we're going to stay in fourth gear and we're going to take this corner in fourth gear, breaking just before that one board again on the left hand side. Staying in fourth gear, get yourself up onto that curb and then get on the power as early as you can. You need to run wide at this point to gain as much on the acceleration. Look in the mirror, you can see how much I've gained there by keeping the power down. And then again, breaking around that one board on the right hand side, down into fourth gear and get yourself over the curb on the right hand side there. Really attack them curbs and then just keep the steering lock on, otherwise you could run wide and be careful not to put too much power down. Breaking down into third gear just before the one board again and keeping your car nice and tight in on this apex before feeding that power down with maximum power coming out of the corner. Now we're going to look again, we're going to be breaking just short of the one board again in fourth gear, keeping it in fourth, I don't like to go down to third, so then down into fourth gear just before that one board again, use some of the kerb on the right hand side again, it will help you slingshot yourself round this corner, just be careful not to run wide on that left hand side, powering out the corner. <clears throat> now keeping the car all the way over to the right hand side of the track it's really important to do that it may only be a slightest bit of gain but it's everything that's worth doing this lap actually put us to um i think seventh on the leaderboard in the top 10 stars at the end of the night so i was really happy with that only a tenth basically off the number one time anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this lap i'll leave you guys with the replay of that lap and um, i'll be back with more of these track guides very soon um and more race videos as well thanks again for watching and i'll be back very soon make sure you leave a like and also subscribe if you haven't already subscribed